For the first time ever, there is an over-the-counter option for a birth control pill. Last week, the Food and Drug Administration approved the drug Opil. It's the first hormonal contraceptive to be available in the United States without a prescription. The FDA says it hopes the drug will give women easier access to birth control. But the new drug does raise questions about safety and usage. Joining us now to help answer a few of those is Dr. Nora Doty, an OBGYN with Jersey Shore University Medical Center. Thanks for being here with us. Thank you so much for having me. Can you explain to us a little how this drug works? Yes, absolutely. This uh, this new FDA approved medication for use over the counter for women to prevent pregnancy is actually a birth control pill that has been um, originally FDA approved over 50 years ago. So it's a type of hormonal birth control that contains only one hormone. So we call it a progestin only pill or a mini pill. And we have a, a lot of data saying that it's a safe and really effective uh, method for people to use to prevent pregnancy. So people, of course, when they hear about something like this, may be worried about taking a birth control without a prescription. I guess it is safe, so the FDA says, but how do you convince people that is the case? Absolutely. Well, the great thing about this is this will just be one option that people can have to access birth control so that they don't need to go through the hassle of scheduling a doctor's appointment and getting a prescription for a doctor. But of course, for people who want to have those discussions with gynecologists like myself or with their healthcare provider, they can always schedule an appointment and ask any questions that they have about birth control methods. Having this available over the counter will just be another option for people to access a really effective birth control method. Um, and it will be really important for those people who who typically have barriers to access of care, really busy working women um, who find it hard to, hard to find uh, time to get to the doctor, or for adolescents who also may have um, issues uh, scheduling doctor's appointments for themselves. And doctor, how is the OPIL different from what's there, out there on the market now? Yeah, so it's very similar to, um, to medications that we commonly prescribe um, for patients, um, a progestin-only pill or sometimes known as a mini pill. This pill is a little bit different than what we typically think about um, as birth control pills. When most people think about a birth control pill, what we're actually thinking about is a combination pill or a pill that has two hormones in it, an estrogen and a progestin. So this, uh, this O-pill uh, has just one hormone in it a progestin only pill, uh, but it works in a similar way and it's also really effective. Oh, I wanted to ask you about its effectiveness. What are the percentages at this point? Yeah, so this pill um, in the in the studies are is 98% eff effective. So if 100 women are using this birth control pill for a year, only two women uh, will become pregnant. This is much more effective than other over-the-counter methods that we have currently available, like condoms. Are there any reasons like pre-existing conditions or age uh, where people should avoid this drug? There's no age restrictions for the use of this medication. Um, there are certain health conditions um, in which people should avoid using the medication. And uh, one is current breast cancer, but it's really safe for the general population to use. And what about the cost in the over-the-counter medication as opposed to the prescription pills? That remains to be seen what the cost will be. The, the drug manufacturer says that they plan to have it available in early 2024 um, at a cost that's affordable for patients to be able to use over the counter. But it will be very important for insurance companies to continue to cover this medication as well so that people have different avenues to use to pay for it. And Doc, according to the FDA, there are nearly 3 million unintended pregnancies in the U.S. each year. Do you think that the OPIL could help change that? Absolutely. I think that having birth control, really effective birth control available over the counter um, can definitely have a major public health impact. And this really is a game changer for women in the United States. And do you think this coming out now is due to the uh, Supreme Court decision? You know, it, it, the timing of it is, is coincidental, I think. They have been doing uh, years of research in order to demonstrate uh, whether or not this medication is safe and effective. Um, and I think the timing may just have been coincidental, but I think absolutely this will be a really important uh, tool for people to use, especially in states where abortion access is restricted. Dr. Nora Doty, OBGYN with Jersey Shore University Medical Center, thank you for being here this morning. Thank you so much.